should be here is here. What a smashing, positively dashing, spectacle the Ascot opening day. As the gates are all the horses waiting for the queue to fly away. What a ripping, absolutely ripping moment at the Ascot opening day. Celebrating the 60th anniversary production of My Fair Lady, QPAC is presenting a very special recreation of the 1956 original production. And at the helm of the production is none other than Julie Andrews, the original Eliza Doolittle. Coming back to it after all this time is to rediscover the wonder of the show. It is one of the great Broadway musicals, pieces of, of great work. And it's for so many reasons. Brilliant script by George Bernard Shaw, which was the foundation of the piece. Who would have thought that a story about a professor of phonetics would, would result in it being probably one of the great shows ever for musical theater. It's an odd, seemingly odd subject, but the class differences mm -hmm. between the poor and the rich, the, there is so much in the script to mine and to plumb, and um, I've just had the joy of, of recreating it as it was originally so that you could see the way it really, it really was. was, and also finding some new things, freshening certain looks occasionally, or um, a take on a, a line maybe, something like that. Oh, we have a glorious car in this production. That's right. Which was scheduled for our original production and was scrapped for budget reasons, I believe, in our original. So I'd never, never seen the car until this production. And I thought about it for a while and I thought, well, let's try it. And it's great. Wait till you see it. Have you seen Pickering? My! Don't you look pretty? I saw Colonel Pickering, and Henry, my dear, I'm most provoked. I've heard you brought a common flower girl from Covent Garden to my box at Escort. Oh, darling, she'll be all right. I've taught her to speak properly, and she's under strict orders as to her behaviour. She's to keep to two subjects, the weather and everybody's health. Sort of. The anniversary production broke box office records when it premiered at the Sydney Opera House in 2006 and has a stellar cast lineup for the Brisbane and Melbourne season, including acclaimed theatre, film and television actor Charles Edwards as Professor Higgins. So I'm with Charles Edwards, who is playing the role of Henry Higgins. Yep. Thanks for your time. Not at all. Now this is your music theatre debut. Well, it's, it is. Yes, it is. I mean, there have been times at college years ago when I was in musicals, but professionally, yes. How has that process been for you? Well, I've been working very hard on my own with the music before I joined the company. Um, so I uh, came knowing everything um, because there wasn't time to, to rehearse fully. Mm -hmm. So um, I've had some great sessions with Guy Simpson, the musical director, and with Julie Andrews. Um, like every time I say it, I sort of go, yes, it is her. Um, <laughs> Can I pinch you? Yes, working on, working on the songs. And, but I mean, for someone with limited musical experience like me, uh, Higgins is probably quite a good one to start off with because mm -hmm. it's not a role that's known for its um, singing it's a huge singing range. Um, he speaks a lot of what he's, yes. he speaks, sings it, which was of course sort of um, created by Rex Harrison, that, that kind of approach to it. Um, and I think it's, it holds up very well. I, I tend to think Higgins's songs are perhaps less interesting when they're sung too much. Mm. I think you lose a lot of the wit and the speed yes. that you get with, with, with uh, speech. Why do you think the so show is so iconic that it has such longevity? I think it was Julie actually who said there are probably only five stories in the world that get retold in various forms and this is, I guess, Cinderella. Um, I don't know what, what, what is fascinating about those fairy stories. Maybe it's, you know, it's, I mean, you have a man and a woman, it's the battle of the sexes, to put it very um, tritely. Um, but they are two people who, who 
know each other and know themselves better once they meet. Mm. And I think that's, that's always a nice thing to watch, is to, to watch a change, to watch someone changing and become a different and hopefully better person. I think that's at the heart of it. Mm. Mm. What's your favourite part? My favourite part? I said to Anna last night that my favourite part was the ball at the end of Act One because I don't have anything to say <laughs> and I just have to dance with her. And you're not frightened by the dancing? No, I like dancing. Oh. I like dancing with Anna. It's lovely. The stellar cast continues with Reg Livermore as Alfred P. Doolittle, Robin Nevin as Mrs. Higgins, Mark Vincent as Freddie, and Anne O'Byrne as Eliza Doolittle. Now, I'm with Anna O'Byrne, who is playing Eliza Doolittle. Thanks for your time. It's a pleasure. Now, what's it like being Julie Andrews being the first Eliza Doolittle? What's it like being working with her? It's been absolutely incredible. It was hugely daunting walking into the audition room for the first time, but um, she's been so encouraging and warm and generous and her knowledge of this extraordinary piece is encyclopedic. So it's just, it's been, it's been a, a, a dream really and surreal and a wonderful experience. So why do you think this show is so iconic and has such a long life? Oh, look, if we knew the definitive answer to that, we'd have a lot more shows. We'd have a lot more My Fair Ladies. Um, but it does stand apart. It, it was written in an era where um, the book of a musical was extremely important. Mm. And obviously there are huge swathes of dialogue and uh, it, it, that, that are lifted directly from the George Bernard Shaw play. So the the characters and the story is so strong. You can't just kind of, I, I don't think personally, you can just sort of put a bunch of songs together and hope it flies sort mm. of thing. Um, and the, then on top of our incredible book, the, the songs in My Fair Lady are tr every single one. There's not a dud in them. They're absolutely yeah. brilliant. So, yeah. Well, chookers. Thank you. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Bobby Lee from Aussie Theatre. My Fair Lady is now playing at QPAC and will transfer to Melbourne in May. For more details about the show, head to the QPAC website at www.qpac.com.au.